Hi, Ron. We're back with another question from a member. Ron, how do we develop personal discernment in search of spiritual truth? Personal discernment. Um, you know, that's something that, that we, uh, I think we would value that very highly as we move into our higher spiritual awareness and um let let's say that the spirit is going to help us to understand and use discernment now uh, discernment in search of the truth um you know from from my experience i just ask if things are true and uh, there's always the searching question that comes back well what do you think about something and and then i get a chance to use my mind and connect with my heart as i look at things and i'll, I'll say well this is what i feel about that and uh, if if it's a spiritual truth, they'll say, "Well, we like your thinking." Something like that. Uh, it, it's an assistant for us. The spirit is the assistance for us. Uh, but there's dominion here that we recognize as our own, our own sovereignty, um, our own plans that we're doing, and creating our own dominion. And we we need to be aware that the heavens are aware of that too. So they want to be sure that they don't put something in our mind that is uh, not from us, but they want us to go through things. And, and and there is your search for discernment, your personal discernment. You're going to know, and, and you're going to respond in a way that uh, the heavens are not overcoming you or giving you faults, new ideas, unless they say something. You you do your little spiel with them, and uh, I believe this and this and this, and and uh, and they say, well, it, you, you're on the right track, and uh, you might want to just check into things a little bit deeper, and and find some some truths there that perhaps you haven't um, thought about yet. And and so that that I think that that's part of what we're trying to accomplish. Um, we are gods. And and we've got to act like God. Now, how do you do that? Well, if they were to ask me, I said, well, I, I think that God is perfect and does and and and, and uh, has a present knowledge of all things and delve into it that way and and that's going to help us to understand where the heavens are and what we're searching for so uh, if i'm looking for spiritual truth and i ask then i will give my dialogue of what i think it is and and they say if it's good if it's good, then they'll say, well, we like your thinking. If it's not, they'll invite you to uh, delve a little bit deeper into something that perhaps you have not understood quite well. Now, let me say right now, <clears throat> when they do that, your inner guidance system plugs in. And you're going to find some new truths that you've never thought about. And because that's what the that's what the spirit does. Uh, your inner guidance system uh, comes from your soul, and your soul's responsibility is to guide you to the information that you need or the experiences that you need to grow and develop in in a way that will help you to reach the higher vibrational rates that are necessary for you to function 
independent of your soul. Instead of having inner guidance, you have your own guidance system that's that's going to, well, and th th that's not quite true because you'll always have that inner guidance to help you. Uh, your development is in using that inner guidance for the things that you want to do in your life and the experiences that you're going to have. So your soul is going to get you to the right place at the right time with the right thoughts and the right ideas. And that experience is going to help you to have a higher um, spiritual uh, vibration and uh, and it will that experience is going to be for your best good and so um, that's our soul will will get us in the right place our it's not just for the third dimension because we have the soul has access to everything that has been created and can get you to the right place to have the right experiences so um it's not just this third dimension experience that we're looking for. You might have uh, reincarnated uh, many, many, many thousands, perhaps at time, uh, different incarnations to teach you the things that it wants you to have and they have the experiences that it wants you to have. So as we do that, then we grow spiritually and we infuse back into our soul. And then we become the soul that creates, has 12 uh, soul extensions or personalities, individuations. And so uh, that's that's the family of God that, that I, I call the family of God. So this spirit creates you and you go through the experience and begin to get into the point where you infuse back into the soul. And it's like you go back to your soul and now you are a soul and having soul extensions and creating personalities. That's the family of God. That's the generations of God. And uh, there's a lot of questions to ask about that, but we don't have time now to go through them all. But, but know that there's always uh, things that we're learning. So uh, personal dis discernment is, is what we're achieving as we go through these experiences. I hope that helps. That's wonderful, Ron. The idea of the teaching, the structure, much to ponder. We'll be right back with more questions from members. <laughs> 